Hi, children. Now, word problems. When you are given a sum, you will need to read the problem, understand. Now, before we go into word problem, how to, in mathematics, understanding the problem is reading. We must learn to read. In mathematics, reading is also important. Reading, understanding. So, to understand the word problem, we will do some small problems first. Small, like, find the sum of 3 and 5. It's a small problem. Find the sum of 3 and 5. Learn to read. Unless we read and understand, we cannot proceed. Now, in addition, I am talking about addition. We are doing further understanding of addition. When I say addition, the sign is this. The sign for the addition is this. But... I am going to write down a tiny problem for you. What is it? Find, find the sum. Find the sum of. Sum of means two. Sum of. Two numbers are there. Five. Find the sum of 5, 3. Now, this is a problem by itself. Understand. Addition. Okay. Addition of further addition we are doing. To understand word problem in addition, what are we doing? Find the sum of 5 and 3. Sum. When you talk about sum, what are you talking Sum means addition, add. Okay? Now, find the sum of 5, 3. That is 5, 5, 3. We are talking about sum. So, that is 5 plus, 5 plus. We are talking about, when we say sum, we mean 5 plus 3. What is? What? Find the sum. Of 5 and 3. 5 and 3 is what? 5, 6, 7, 8. So when I say sum of the two numbers, I mean addition. You, mean, you need to understand, find the sum of two numbers. When you say find the sum, it is addition. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Answer is 8. Now, what is? Next, small word problem. What is 3 plus 5? Again, I am underlining the word plus. When you say sum, it is addition. When you say plus, it is plus. So, what is 3 plus 5? You say 3 plus 5 is 3 plus 5. What is P L U S plus? That's a plus sign. We need to remember when you read, you must understand. What is 3 plus 5? 3 plus 5 is 8. Very good. 3 plus 5 is 8. Alright. The next one. Next tiny problem. What is 3 and 5? What is 3? What is 3 and 5? 
what is 3 and 5? When you say and again, and means add, sum means plus, plus means plus, and means plus. We must remember that. Now, what is 3 and 5? 3 and 5. What is 3 and 5? What is and? And means plus sign. We must remember that. So, 3 and 5. 3 and 5 are? They make 8. Okay. Another small problem. What is the total of? What is? What is the total? Total of 3 and 5. Another small problem. What is the total? When you say total, it is total mean again plus. We must run. What is the total of 3 and 5? The total of 3 and 5. 3, 5. What is total? Total means plus. You get that? Total means all these wordings you need to bear in mind. Sum, plus and total. So 3 plus 5, 8. Okay, now what does 3 and 5 together make? Does. What does 3 and 5? 3 and 5 together. What does 3 and 5 together make? 3 and 5 together make what? That's another small problem. 3 and 5, again together, when you say together, the word together means put this one and that one together, addition, add, so 3 again here, 3 plus 5, what is it, together, together means plus, 3 plus 5 make 5, 3 plus 5 make 8, now, Another small problem for you. What is 2, 1 and 3 in all? What is? What is? I'm going to give you three numbers now. 2, 1 and 3 in all make. In all. I have three numbers here. Two, one and three in all. What is? What is that? When you say in all, in the word problem, when you get the word in all, means addition, add. So you have here two, one and three in all. In all means two plus one plus three. What is that? What does it make? In all, 2 and 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. Alright? Now, how many? Now, another one. How many? How many tens are there? How many tens are there in 60? Ah, that's another fun. How many tens are there in 60? How many tens? Six tens. Very good. You have six tens. What is six tens? Six tens equal to 60. Six tens. What is six tens? You get 60. Now, this wording, addition, 
before we learn to look at read the word problem we must learn these small sums wording when you say find the sum means addition what is 3 plus plus means addition what is 3 and 5 or 3 and something and plus then what is the total of when you say total o oh, addition what does 3 and all together all together when you get the word all together addition in all okay what is 2 and 1 and 3 what are we know how much it make how many how many 10 how many now in, if you can do this then i will say you can uh, you have understood addition and i look find the sum of 5 3 so 5 and 3 8 sum means plus what is 3 plus 5 3 Plus plus sign five eight and here you what is three and five three and and mean plus three and five eight what is the total of three and five and is the total of is it plus three and five is eight what does three and five together mean three and five together mean plus 3 plus 5 8 now here you have what is 2 1 and 3 in all 2 1 and 3 all the numbers together in all how many it will make 2 1 and 3 we mean 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6 and finally we have here how many tens are there in 60 60 you get 6 tens 6 tens equal to 60 learning to read is very important understanding sum plus and total together in all all these wordings we must remember very carefully in addition if you can understand addition then you are understood reading grasping oh in all plus and plus you have understood these words you must bear in mind what words sum plus and total of together in all